Well, it's been a while. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Today we have a 2014 Toyota Yaris. has two issues. Uh, the first issue is it has a TPMS light on. Um, a couple pe people asked me to show the Autel TPMS tool in my diag cart tour. So I think I'm going to show that tool in action to show how I diagnose this TPMS light. And the second issue it has is the ABS lights on and the speedometer doesn't work, but they go hand in hand. Uh, the ABS lights already diagnosed, but I have a little quick tip for you guys on how to simulate an active wheel speed sensor. And uh, I want to show you guys how to do that just in case you ever need to. So I'm still using the little uh, Autel Maxi Check, the MX-808, uh, just for a quick test. But it's going to be good for this one because it does graph the data. Now, last time I used this, I do know I had issues, so I did get a screen recorder set up for this so you guys can more easily see it. But uh, first thing we're going to do is pull up our ABS. Okay. I'm going to go to live data. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go back. And I'll show you guys the codes first. So I have an open circuit in both my right and left front wheel speed sensor. Now, the issue is, this here was the connector. Um, like I said, it's already diagnosed, but I do want to show you guys how to substitute an active wheel speed sensor. So I'm going to go back to my live data and show you guys how to do that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these front probes from ASE Wave. I was actually given crap from a guy who said that I was damaging connectors uh, by front probing Toyota connectors. And I don't think he realized that uh, these were meant to fit in connectors. So I'm going to front probe this connector. And I have to run a jumper wire through an LED test light. So I'm going to add this jumper wire. Uh, this fell out. Gonna hook an LED test light, light up to it. Now, if you remember in my last um, ABS active wheel speed sensor video, I said that these sensors pull around uh, 13 milliamps. So does my LED test light. So, if you look at me when I tap this sensor, you can actually look on the screen and see that the speed changes which tells you that the wiring to the computer is good and the computer is good. So, so I just wanted to show you guys how to simulate these because I, I have ran into issues where uh, ABS modules were shutting down circuits and everything and, and this has come in handy a few times for me now. Uh, I'm not sure if it works for every Toyota or every active wheel speed sensor. Uh, but it has worked for the ones I have tried. So I just wanted to share that because I don't think I've seen anyone else mentioning that. So make sure you use an LED test light because that pulls low uh, amperage. And you don't want to be pulling 250 milliamps through a circuit that's only meant for 13 milliamps. I doubt you'll hurt anything, but better be safe than sorry. Uh, so now I guess I'll show you guys how I diagnose these uh, TPMS sensors with the Autel tool. But before we do that, to show you the broken wire on this side. This was the right front. Take you around. Uh, grab my flashlight so you all can see. And that connector, well, no longer has a connector, but that is the left front. So that's what's causing our codes. All right, so we're gonna go back out of here. We're gonna go into our TPMS menu. Tire pressure monitor. So we'll go to our live data. So I have ID one, two, three, and four up. Now ID two isn't showing any pressure. Um, problem with Toyotas is I have no clue which uh, which wheel ID number two is. So I'm gonna grab the Autel TPMS tool and we'll see which one isn't, isn't working. So we are going to go to advanced mode, Toyota. Oh crap, should've went the other way, it's a Yaris. Okay. 
What year is this? 2012. So we are going to go to... Just hold this right up to the sensor and you're gonna hit the uh, antenna button. Now right front. This one seems to be the bad one. Yeah, this, this definitely should have picked it up by now. This thing's pretty quick. So I'm going to stop this and we'll go to the right rear. Hold it right up to the wheel, to the tire sensor. Oh, crap. Wrong button. That's good. And left rear. Now that's good. So we know our right front sensor isn't sending a signal out. I'm gonna replace that sensor and we'll go through that process again. And I'll show you how this tool can actually program it. And uh, if you weren't aware, this was the TS-508 that I was using. So. All right, so I'm just gonna take this tool. I'm sorry, these white screen, these white screens are so hard to see. I'm just gonna take this tool, go back to the right front, and I'm gonna hit my antenna button, and I'm gonna register this uh, sensor now. So. Now, in order to program a sensor, this here's where I got screwed up when I first got this. You have to go to position relearn. You're gonna do OBD relearn. Um, uh, no, not getting cleared old data. I already scanned this new sensor, so. All right. So we're going to connect this to the OBD and turn the ignition on. We're all plugged in. Hit yes. It's communicating with the vehicle. Writing sensor IDs. Our lights blinking, that's normal. All right, says it's successful, hit OK. All right, just because I have the scan tool in here, I'm just gonna pull these uh, sensors up again, uh, and it already works. So you can see uh, on the screen recording that ID2 is now measuring 34 PSI. I should probably drop that a little bit. I think, yeah, spec is 33, so I'll adjust these tire pressures, but just wanted to show you, one, how to use the TS-508, and two, how to simulate active wheel speed sensors with an LED test light. 
because I don't think uh, I don't think anyone has shown that yet. So uh, I hope you guys like this. It's a little little short video with little tech tips in it. But uh, also, there's I am editing the Dormax video. I have so much footage. It's taken me forever to to edit that out. I have like eight hours worth of footage, and I I don't know what to do with it. Um, and secondly, I do have a big announcement I'm hoping comes out here shortly, and uh, once I can make it official, I'll probably do a live stream or something with you guys, so hang tight and uh, see you guys next time.